Hello friend, last time we discussed about the Bank Regulation Act need and the background of Bank Regulation Act 1949 and the definition of bank and banking company as per Bank Regulation Act 1949. So welcome to all of you again the second lecture Banking and Finance 3 means bank, Banking Law and Practices. So what we learn here the background of BRI 1949. So background of BRI 1949 you know the this act is exists in India in 1949 on the 16 March uh, 1949 it's uh, work but actually formed in uh, in 1949 and again the some amendment is applied to the cooperative banks. This law is also applicable to Jammu and Kashmir state from 1965 and in year of 1965 the argument to the make to applicable this act to cooperative banks. So after the 1965 amendment this law is applicable to cooperative bank which is a very important part of our economy and rural economy of agriculture. So background of the this act we discuss here. So the Bank Regulation Act established in 1949 and it's applicable to Jammu Kashmir and applicable to cooperative banks. Then we start the or some important provision which is important to uh, our discussion. So here is the our uh, some important provision. Section 5 B and C is about the definition of banking company and section 6 is the function of banking company. So here we looking the functions of banking company then restrictions on banking company under the section 8. 30, 90 and 20. So just revive what is we learned in the last lecture definition of banking company. The definition of banking company is the according to Dr. Samuel Jones. Bank is a defined to be place where money is laid to be called as occasion. So occasionally where the money is laid to the people it's called the bank. A bank is an institution where they accept the deposit purpose of the lending and investment, deposit money from the public and repay on their demand in the form of check, draft and otherwise. Banking company means any company who transact the business in banking India. So banking company in the act means the banking company who transacts the banking business in India. And let us start with the, uh, the next point, the functions of banking company. And the functions of banking company, we classify the primary and the secondary function. These are the functions we also study in the first standard or upper com fundamental of banking. And the second year, we also study the sum of the functions of banking company. So we also subcategorize uh, this function, the uh, primary function, accepting deposit, they are the saving uh, account or saving deposit, the current account deposit and recurring account deposit or fixed account deposit. And on the hand, the granting of advances, the cash is given to the customer, order of facility, loans are given to the customer and advance or billing is the, the granting advances is this primary function. The secondary function, there is the agency functions, the fund transfer like the RTGS, the NEFT method used by the bank and check collect of their customers and we hope of their customers and the bank work as the agent of their customers. So pay their telephone bill or the LIC payment or the other payments because of bank is the uh, agent of their customers. Also the sales and purchase security as a uh, trustee, bank work as a trustee of their customer, people trust on the bank that's why they deposit the, their money in the safe deposit lockers. Then next is the utility functions and now these days the utility functions is the begin more and more fund transfer from one place to the other place from Nasik to the Pune and all the um, places also. The underwriting the letter of the credit Write, uh, under write the letter of credit to the or to unknown parties locker facilities provided to the customer one key hold by the manager and one key hold by the customer foreign exchange 
many of the for customer dealing with the other countries that time they need the foreign exchange atm card debit card and credit card facility also provided in the bank for their customer these are the and the demand account provided to their customer but what is into the as per raw law is the mention the banking companies function the fundamental principle of banking take note the various function of banking the primary secondary and contingent functions or public utility functions bank regulation act is also mentioned the function under the section 6 so under section 6 there are the many activity of banking company is explained means the banking company may engage in any one or may more of the following businesses so under the section 6 bank regulation act 1949 is given the functions of banking company so what are their functions the first important function is about the money transaction and the money transaction means the borrowing raising or taking up money the lending advancing of money either upon or without security so sometimes bank give note without security sometimes take the gold or the any of the asset from their customer so money transaction is the important function of banking company dealing with the negotiable instrument the negotiable instrument like the check negotiable instrument like the bill of exchange and the drafts notes coupon these are the uh, regular receipts debentures negotiable instrument used by the in nowadays so granting the letters when the new company is the uh, launch into the market that time they need the uh, guarantee of the letter guarantee and issue of the letter uh, travel checks also provided to their customer to unknown parties the one party the demand in the grant uh, guarantee letter from the third parties so granting letters and the gold and silver bills the buying and selling of coin and gold a uh, gold silver precious metal the occasionally bank can sell the coins the silver coin or gold coin like the dasera diwali and then some of the occasionally bank also can sell the some coins in counter so another some of the functions consumer services acquiring holding issue commission banks work on the profitability principle so that a commission from the various activities underwriting dealing to the stock and funds for the new companies debenture bonds and securities uh, uh, investment is the function of banking loan and lenders it is a important function the bank take deposits and even loans to the the other customers to take from one person and give to the another person so loans and advances is the important functions bank over loan to the agriculture for development and industries small scale industries also security they receive the all kind of bonds and deposit for self custody so security is a important principle of bank bank work on the three principles the liquidity profitability and security so security is important principle bank take some security whenever they sanction the loan and advances self deposit they providing self deposit where it's collect and transmitting of money and securities self deposit lockers are held is uh, provided to their uh, customers so bank work as a custodian for their customer the another function is the acting as agent bank has a acting as a agent for the government local authority or any other person so bank work for the state government bank work for the central government bank work for the municipal corporation also they contacting for the public and private loans and negotiating and the issue of the same so they work for the uh, agent for government individual person or local authorities also some of the utility for uh, services they provide to the their customer effecting guaranteeing underwriting participating in managing and carrying out any issue sometimes bank is also participate in management body is also because of the sometimes they are play role of the custodian public and private the state municipal or other loans share stocks debentures stock and any company bank is a work for the government a bankers bank and government banks you know the functions of the banking company so bank is a work for the government also provide guarantees carrying and uh, transacting every kind of guarantee to 
uh, for the business person. So, providing guarantees for new businessmen is the functions under this section 6. Handling of the property, managing, selling any property that may come into the possession of the bank. Sometimes some customers are the defaulter, they are not able to return the bank loans and that time bank need to recover their loans so bank take possession of their properties and bank organize the options and the selling these properties and receive their monies and remaining money return to their customer so handling of the property whenever the customer is defaulted and unable to return their loans so, holding property as a security acquisition holding any property or any right title or interest in such a property which may a uh, security for loans and advances. So basically bank follow the principle of the security and they take the securities like the flat, houses, land or any other gold and other properties. And when the customer not able to return their loans that time bank is take possession of their property. So bank acquisition is a holding of the any property and dispose this kind of property within the seven years. Formality trust undertaking and existing, existing the trust. So bank is the formating the trust within the their customers and formating the trust bank work as a trustee for their customers. Bank also work uh, in the management of the sum of the uh, their customers. Any other business it may engage in doing all such of other thing the incidental and conductive to the promote or advances of the business of the company. So any other functions. Yes. So promote the banking business, they also participate into the, the exhibitions, they also uh, work for the promote the banking business into the economy. So any uh, of the other functions is related to uh, expansion of banking business or promote of advance of business of banking companies is related to under section 6. The next is the restrictions. Section 6 is explain about the what can they do and another section is mention of the restrictions on banking company. Means prohibition about the trading under the section 8. What cannot be do is explained into the these restrictions. So section 8 is about the uh, prohibition about the trading. So any banking company not direct or indirectly participate of buying and selling of the barter goods, the goods like the vegetables, goods like the food grains, they not directly or indirectly participate in the buying and selling of the goods and commodities. So prohibition about the trading is under the section 8. And disposing of non-banking assets. The banking assets like the bank computer, bank building, uh, bank uh, uh, other software and other furnitures. But non-banking assets sometimes bank hold whenever the customer not able to return of their loans that time bank take possession of their property and these kind of property they hold the exceeding the 7 years acquisition. And after the uh, seven years completing bank can dispose the assets so restriction to banking company disposing of non-banking assets so bank can hold only seven years this kind of asset whenever they take possession of the property and uh, after the seven years from acquisition they can sell organize auctions and receive their monies so it's about the acquisition and disposing of non-banking asset it's about the immovable property. Immovable property like the land, land is the immovable property, house is the immovable property. So this kind of immovable property cannot hold exceed than 7 years under the section of 9. So section 9 is about the immovable property and non-banking asset disposing so within the seven years they can dispose the all the property the next is the restriction on the loan and advances section 20 is given the restrictions about the loan and advances given to the people who can take loan from the banks bank can the uh, sanction the loan 
for the specific person who can uh, take the load and what are the conditions it is mentioned in this section 20. The granting loan and advances of its own shares. So no banking company shall allow granting loan and advances its own shares. So that not allow to the customers granting loans for their own shares. The enter into the commitment granting loan and advances to be of any directors, any firm which any of the director interested, any of company which of the director is associated. So not give commitment to throughout the any director to any uh, interested uh, association or any interested people who is directly indirectly related to the director. So banking company not allow the loans and advances to the any of director, any firm and interest of the directors or any association which is related to the director. And granting loans and advances of its own shares is not allowed. Any individual is picked of whom any of directors, it is the partner and guarantors. If the director is the involved in the any association and the, um, business company and he is the partner that time he is not allowed the loan to the, their partners. Any public company in which banking company is uh, subsidently interested. So public company in which banking company is subsidized company. So uh, that subsidized company is not allowed to loan from the bank without the approval of majority of director of that banking company. See, company. So a two third majority of the directors is needed to be allowed the loan and advances to the customer. So restriction about the loans and advances under the section 20 on the customers. So here we complete the some points like the functions of banking company and restrictions on banking company. Here we give the some references. You can uh, refer these kind of book, Mukund Mahajan book of Nirali publication and the Sangre B, Sarve, Shinde and Varade, these four people also write the banking law and practices in, in India, this banking finance paper 3. So next is the assignment question, explain the functions and restrictions on banking company under BRI 1948. So here we discussing with some functions of banking company under the section 6 and the restriction under section 8, 9 and 20. So thank you for watching this video and the next time looking the next point in next lecture. Thank you.